Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do a hyperbola. But before we do a hyperbola, you need to remember how to draw a parabola about the a and the q. So you need to be able to draw a parabola before coming to drawing a hyperbola. Now the equation for the hyperbola is y is equal to a over x plus q. Now you must remember in your parabola the q gave you your turning points. Whereas in now, in your hyperbola, the Q is giving you your asymptote. Now what is an asymptote? An asymptote is a line that you have in your graph. And whatever function you're drawing, it never touches this asymptote. So it would come awfully close, but it wouldn't touch it. That is what an asymptote is. So you can come right till there, but you wouldn't touch it. Okay? Now, we know that Q is an asymptote. The A, just like it had a function in parabola, it also has a function in your hyperbola. In the parabola, it told you if I'm happy or sad. In a hyperbola, the positive A tells you if it's in the first and the third quadrant. And the negative A tells you that it's in the second and fourth. Now what you must remember is that these lines do not refer to our Cartesian plane, but rather to our asymptotes. So when I'm saying first and third, I am linking it to your asymptote. That would become relevant because you see, if I give you a graph like this, and my asymptote is here on top, then what am I talking about? If you draw your asymptote in grade 10, your y-axis is always an asymptote. So what it means is that my graph would lie in those two quadrants. So when I'm talking of the plus and minus, I am talking of relation to your asymptotes. Now the next thing is, so we know what our Q does, we know what our A does. You are still going to do x-intercept and you are still going to do y-intercept. Now y-intercept means x is 0. But look, if you look, it's always going to be an asymptote. So for this one, you're not going to get a solution. However, that is only for grade 10. In grade 11, this rule changes. So let us go through our steps. Number 1, you're going to do x-intercept. Number 2, when you are drawing, you are going to put in, put your asymptote and then you're going to plot your point and you're going to decide which quadrant am I in. Which quadrant are you in is usually the safest thing for you. It's a big help to say, hey, you know what, I'm doing something totally wrong. So when you're doing the quadrant thing, check it. See that you know what you're doing. Let us try an example. Okay. Let us draw the graph. Y is equal to 3 over X plus 6. Now, you should already see that your asymptote is going to be 6. Now, what does that mean? When you say, hey, your asymptote is 6, what does it mean? It means you're going to have a line that says Y is equal to 6. That is a graph that you're going to draw. So let's go 2, 4, 6, 8. And then we can go 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. But remember the side is negative. And then here we've got 2, 4, 6, 8. Again, negative. Now, when they say your asymptote is 6, it means on 6 we have a dotted line What is this equation? It is y is equal to 6. Now it's advisable to start doing these things. Write these things down. Because when you're careless in grade 11 and in grade 12, you're going to lose marks for silly things. So we know y is equal to 6. Then, that was our asymptote. And a very famous question is, what is the equation of the asymptote? The equation of the asymptote is y is equal to 6. Now we're going to do our x-intercept. X-intercept means Y is equal to 0. So I have 0 is equal to 3 over X plus 6. Take my 6 over. This is now solved for X. If you are not familiar with this, 
you have to go over your algebraic expressions. It is important that you master your algebraic expressions and solve for x before you can continue with any other section in grade 10. Now we're going to cross multiply. So I got minus 6x is equal to 3, x is equal to minus a half. Now what is my coordinate? My coordinate says y is 0 and x is minus a half. So I have minus a half because x comes first, y is 0. So my coordinate is minus a half and 0. So I'm going to have a point around here. Minus a half. Now I know from the graph. I can see that it's a positive. So my a is a positive a. And if it's a positive a, then I know I am in the first and in the third quadrant. So that means I am going to go in the first and in the third. Now remember, it means you do not touch the y-axis. What you must remember is that when I am saying that it is in the first and the third. It is in relation to your asymptotes. Now in grade 10, x is equal to 0 is an asymptote. The graph is never going to touch that x line. Okay, The y asymptote is going to move up and down. But remember the graph is in relation to your asymptotes. Let's try another example. Alright, let us do the graph. y is equal to minus 8 over x minus Okay, what is our asymptote? Our asymptote is y is equal to minus 4. Now, I want you to get into the habit of writing it like this, not asymptote is equal or just equal to minus 4. It must be y is equal to minus 4 because that is an equation. They will ask you, what is the equation of the asymptote? So, you need to know how to write it. Then, we're going to do our x-intercept. y is equal to 0. So, I have 0 is equal to minus 8 over x minus 4. Okay, so I have 4 is equal to minus 8 over x. 4x is equal to minus 8. x is equal to minus 1 over 2. My coordinate is minus a half and 0. This is important. Because later when you start doing y-intercepts in it, then you start mixing it up. Then you give me the x and y answers together, considering it 1. It's not correct. You must know if I'm doing x-intercept, my y is 0. And I need to put it like that. Now, when we're drawing, we need to decide is it positive or negative. According to this one, it is negative. So I have it in the second and in the fourth. Okay. How do we plot? You're going to have your Cartesian plane. If you have to draw it, you must draw it yourself. Remembering that you need to keep a scale. There's no such thing as I'm just randomly drawing as I want. You have a ruler, you have a pencil, you measure it. Okay. Right. The first thing we're going to draw is our asymptote. Our asymptote is y is equal to minus 4. So on minus 4, I am drawing a straight line. And that is my asymptote y is equal to minus 4. Then I have a coordinate. My coordinate is x is minus a half and y is 0. So it's on the x line. Now my graph is, if this is my Cartesian plane, then my graph is going to go so my graph is going to be in the second and in the fourth now look how deceiving it can be because many children do this and then they're trying to think okay where must the other one be and then they randomly put them there that is not accepted Think nicely, highlight your asymptote and your y line and then draw it and then see I'm in the second and in the fourth. So I'm in the second and I'm in the fourth. Thank you for watching.